Beyonce to be the only person who could actually get me back seated here filming a YouTube video. Hey, it's Max. Max Sizzle. Maximum the memes, in case, you know, you forgot about me because hi. <laughs> Been gone for a minute. I just watched Lion King and um you know once in a while monumentous monumentous monumental I'm trying to do a speech, I'm trying to do a motivational speech and be like, yeah, you know I've been gone but I'm back, I'm still got the skills and then I can't even speak English. That's great. But once in a while things happen that change you forever, okay? Today was one of those days. Just got back from watching Lion King. I'm gonna give you like all my thoughts on the movie and everything. Also, I'm gonna give you all my thoughts on the album. So if you're not here for Lion King and you're not here for Beyonce, this just isn't the video for you, probably not the channel for you, probably I'm just like not the person for you, okay? Because in this house we are from the beehive, in this house we stand and we stand very hard. Okay, so obviously the album and the movie came out on the same day, but I listened to the album first because I had like things to do on Friday. I couldn't watch the movie today's Saturday so I watched it like the next day after it came out I had to go to the orthodontist if you want that story that's a, like a scoop for another video let me know if you want to know like what's going on in my mouth kind of strange if you do but like hey everyone has their kink I'm not gonna judge you but yeah so um, I got to watch it today I went with a friend of mine to see it at the cinemas that's also another thing I like don't go to the cinemas i've made a video about it before i don't believe in being ripped off i just think it's horrible but hey that's also the video is there i'll link it somewhere if you want to see you know me ranting about going to like the movies <coughs> sidebar i'm sick i'm also drinking a nice coffee because i'm an enemy of progress i obviously listened to the album before i watched the actual movie now let me say a couple of things on the album number one wow okay <laughs> i feel like that's the first thing i need to say and the most important thing number two i'm really 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 impressed with the artists like the varying of artists because i never in my life ever thought that i would see like jesse reyes and tiwa savage two of my absolute queens on the same like project so for me that's really great and that's really cool and insane so shout out to miss b to like you know pulling everyone together but also like if you got a call from beyonce you're there third thing is just how like authentic it is because it's really just about like African sounds and African music and it's not that like thing that all other artists do where they just like borrow sounds and you can kind of hear the influence but not really but I really just love like how she's like you know what we're gonna take African artists and we're gonna do it right so I really 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 enjoyed the album I think my favorite song I hate picking favorites because I mean like it's Beyonce everything she does is perfect don't fight me but like if you want to fight me I'll drop my address and like we can go but um I think it's called find your way back that's my absolute 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 jam um I also really like brown skin girl I think that song is so important and I wish I had a song like that like growing up because I only kind of came to terms with like my beautiful brown skin when I got older when I was young I also wanted to you know kind of be a, a vanilla berry not that there's anything wrong with vanilla berries everyone is beautiful but like you know I think it's really important for little girls to hear that song and hear it early so those are my top two phase also spirit spirit is also yeah top three okay top three um find your way back brown skin girl and spirit also the album has like these little inserts of like quotes from the movie and i didn't get why they're there i still don't get why they're there it just for me makes the album hard to listen to if you haven't watched the movie or you're not trying to watch the movie like what if i end up not liking the movie but i still want to enjoy the music but then like every two seconds it's mufasa being like the stars are where you lead me so that's the only thing for me where i'm just like why are you here though but other than that absolutely amazing even the videos like the video stresses me out so they did like an extended cut for um spirit and bigger in the video she's rolling around in sand and she's laying in the water but there's not a speck of dust on her body and her hair is not wet now i don't know if this is the illuminati or how these things work but like i want answers and i want them now Okay, now onto the movie itself. So just saw the movies at the cinema. Saw it in 3D, which is kind of like a really horrifying experience if you wear glasses because like you have to put your 3D glasses on top of your normal glasses. You know, let me just show you what it looks like. This is what I look like at the movies. Like, you know, chilling. Just wanted the full experience. Like, you know, when Scar's like, I want him to be like, Argh, in my face, if you know what I mean. We saw like a weird hour we saw like the 230 movie which is also really strange because like 
it's nighttime in the cinema but like when you get out it's not nighttime and i'm just like how do i live the rest of my day now because obviously you remember like this was a life-changing event now how do you live the rest of your day after like having your life change don't know how to do that's why i'm sitting here filming but um yeah it was a great 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 movie now i saw like reviews were like 55 percent three out of five whatever whatever and i'm just like <laughs> you know haters are everywhere they're all around they're creeping they're lurking they're waiting to fight we can't stop that. I think it was great. I really, really enjoyed it. I will be honest and admit that I don't think I'm like the greatest judge though. Because number one, I did say like I'm a loyal member of the Beehive. And like Beyonce could like spit on me and I'd be like, it's raining holy water. But also, listen, the confession I'm about to make, please don't unsubscribe. Like please don't unsubscribe. Please don't dislike the video just because of what I'm about to say. I have never watched the lion king like the original one in its entirety <laughs> before you start yelling at me i've seen pieces of it just like when my little siblings are watching it or when other people are watching it but i've never seen like the whole movie from start to finish so that's awkward <laughs> but now that that's out of the way yeah um the movie starts off and it's like that classic <laughs> it's great the sunrise the graphics are amazing i do recommend seeing it in 3d i really enjoyed like the 3d aspect of it and just having things like in my face that's what she said i'm nasty i'm nasty i'm nasty and like yeah baby simba where do i get one i want one he's the cutest little thing i've ever seen in my life like oh, his little voice is like oh, man i just want one like i'm ready to raise a lion like he got me shaking in my loins i don't know if i want a baby or i want a baby lion like i don't know maybe both who knows so then it gets to the part where like mufasa has to die and we all knew it was coming but for some reason we were shocked we were acting surprised like and i'm a hard hand like i don't cry for free i don't cry like recreationally i'm an emotional gangster like i cry once a month but yeah i was very close hey very very close there was a chick sitting next to me and sis was crying sis wasn't even ashamed like she was crying crying i was laughing at her just because like girl i mean maybe not everyone's as hard as me but i i laughed i'm not even gonna lie it was funny good sis was crying crying and i was like bro you knew it was gonna happen why you being emotional so the movie carries on the songs are all the same which is really cute the hakuna matata is the circle of life also there's a like a duet du duet duet i love how i'm a whole singer like i sing like i've got vocal pipes and i don't know how to say do it <laughs> and then people wonder why their careers aren't taking off tens there's a whole duet with like beyonce and childish gambino on circle of life and it changed my life like now i did a circle like my life did a revolution i'm new i'm new i'm whole again it's absolutely beautiful on a whole like it was an absolutely amazing movie very nostalgic the graphics are beautiful the songs are beautiful it sounds great i really enjoyed it i didn't see an issue but as i've said i'm not like an expert on movies or anything so like i'm just you know saying my experience what i liked one thing is though they were kids in the cinema and they were crying and i was honestly just like this is not for you go home if you're gonna cry like you're even lucky that we let you be here and now you're here crying rude disrespectful no me gusta but other than that i really had a good time and i love the, that the music is something that i can continue to listen to like after the movie because a lot of soundtracks like you listen to it you watch the movie and then you're like done but i like that there's actual songs and not just like soundtrack songs if that makes sense so that's it from me that's my thoughts and everything on lion king if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe down below i'm not gonna say i'll see you next week i'm not gonna say when i'll see you because i don't know when i'll see you but i just do want to say that like please don't hate me for not posting consistently i honestly just am doing my best at life on a whole like life is hard guys wow life is hard life is tough things are tense and i think it's just a reminder to you as well like 
put yourself first, put your mental health first, put your emotional health first, never feel obliged to do things. If a certain piece of work or doing a certain something makes you feel overwhelmed and makes you feel like you're losing your mind, don't do it. And I kind of got to that point with YouTube where I was just like, I can't make videos every week. It's driving me insane. I've got radio, I've got school. I've got, at the time I was doing law house, I was doing so many things and it was just like overwhelming me. So please look after yourselves, please love yourselves and also please stream Lion King The Gift on iTunes and all music platforms now. Bye. <laughs> See my highlight also. Just like, you know. Hi, my name is Glow. Nice to meet you. Oh my God. Oh my God.